All right, this is grade four, module four, lesson 10. And in this lesson, uh, we're gonna be measuring angles, all right? But what's really cool is this time, instead of using a protractor, now the thing about a protractor is um, those degrees are so tiny. So no matter how accurate we are, if I try and grab this and, and and I try and I'll set up my angle there and then I'll set up my angle there and then if I want to measure my angle right no matter how accurate I am these degrees right here are so tiny that I'm gonna be off or uh, I, I'm gonna be off by a little bit and so what we're gonna do because you know we're gonna use mathematics to get the answer using logic rather than um, using a protractor to get the answer, which is really an estimation when, if you really think about it. So we're going to use the logic of mathematics to calculate the angle measure rather than using a protractor to estimate the angle measure. And let's get going on that. So here, now we're told that Angle HGF is a right angle. So what does that mean? Uh, so here's the letter H, way over here. Here's G, here's F. So we are told that this angle is a 90 degree angle, which means from here, this arc right here is equal to 90 degrees. Now, we know that of that 90 degrees, and I'm going to write that down, oh, let's put it right here, 90 degrees, we know that part of that is 62 degrees. So I'm going to put that right here, 62 degrees plus, and then we don't know what this extra part is right here. We don't know what this part is, but we know if you add the red plus the green, you should get 90 degrees. You're supposed to get 90 degrees. So, how do we figure out what the green area is, that green arc is, without a protractor? Yes, we could use a protractor, but that's going to be a measurement, and that's going to be really just an estimation, a really good approximation of the answer. So, using logic, we know that we could do 90 minus 62, do some regrouping here, and we get... 28 degrees. So x degrees is 28 degrees. So this little angle right here is 28 degrees. Again, we're going to use logic to figure out the angle x, the measure of angle x. Um, we are not going to use a protractor. Yes, we could use a protractor, uh, but we're going to use logic. And we see that the directions say that what we're looking at is a straight angle. So LMN, LMN is a straight angle. And the thing we need to know is a straight angle is always 180 degrees, just like a right angle is always 90 degrees, we need to know that a straight angle is 180 degrees, which means when you add these three angles together, it's going to create a straight angle. Because let's see if we can do this in, in colors. So the red part plus the green part plus the blue part makes a half circle. And so that's 180 degrees. Another way to think of it is a half circle is 180 degrees, a half rotation. Um, and so uh, we know that if we add those three angles together, we should get 180 degrees. So x degrees plus 73 degrees plus 72 degrees equals 180 degrees. So now we have to figure out, well, what must x be in order to equal 180 degrees? Oh, a variety of ways that we can do this. Probably the most classic way is add these together. That gives us 145 
degrees and now we have x degrees plus 145 degrees equals 180 degrees and using subtraction so now we're gonna have to go over here on scratch paper and do 180 minus 145 do some regrouping Ah, 35 so that tells us x degrees is 35 degrees and that is our answer right here 35 degrees and the last problem for this video it says in the following figures DEFH is a rectangle so that means DEFH so this I don't know why it's there's a little a there so ignore that little a so we have DEFH is a rectangle so, and we know what a rectangle is all these angles here the corners are 90 degree angles they're 90 degree corners without using a protractor and that's been the point of this whole video determine the measurement of GEF of angle GEF so first off we have to find it so where is G the letter G here's G there's E there's F so I'm gonna zoom in and what GEF is is this piece this tiny little sliver right here now we know that this whole corner is a 90 degree corner because it's a rectangle which means it's got to be 90 degree corner and so now we can uh, write our equation so we know that 74 degrees plus that mystery angle and I'm gonna use the letter X X is equal to 90 degrees so that's basically saying and let's use the color red they're saying this red piece which is 74 degrees plus this green piece which you could barely see so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit there uh, the red piece plus the green piece is going to equal 90 degrees. All right, so let's zoom out. And then, so now we're going to do a little bit of math. So this is saying 74 plus something is 90. So we're going to go over here on scratch paper, and we're going to do 90 minus 74. And we have to do some regrouping gives us 16. So that tells us x degrees is 16 degrees. So that little green area, so we're going to say angle G E F is equal to 16 degrees. And that wraps up grade 4 module 4 lesson 10 where we find the unknown angle but not using a protractor, and instead, we're using logic.